probability 10.6a. We've got 11 previous videos for Chapter 10 that are linked in the description along with some other helpful videos if you need them. An experiment is an activity in which results are observed. It'd be like picking cards from a deck. Each result of an experiment is called an outcome. So if we pick an ace of hearts, that's an outcome. If we pick a two of clubs, that's an outcome. A sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. So it would be any of the 52 cards in a deck. Our sample space is 52. An event is any set of outcomes. So an event could be picking the ace of hearts, or it could be a two of clubs, or it could be both the ace of hearts and the two of clubs. An event can also be not picking the ace of hearts, or not picking the two of clubs, or not picking either. The probability of an event is a number from zero to one that tells how likely the event will happen. The closer the probability is to zero, the less likely the event is to happen. You have a zero chance, or a, you know, 10% chance. The closer the probability is to one, the more likely the event is to happen. So you could have a 0.9, like a 90% chance. It could also be in the middle and you'd have a 50-50 chance. An experiment is fair if all outcomes are equally likely. So if we were picking cards from a deck trying to get an ace of hearts, and the person doing the experiment took the of, ace of hearts out of the deck, well, that wouldn't be fair because you wouldn't be able to pick it. And the theoretical probability of an event is the ratio of the number of outcomes in the event to the number of outcomes in the sample space. So the probability of an event, the probability of E, would be the number of outcomes in event E and the number of possible outcomes in the sample space. There's 52 cards in a deck, so we have a one out of 52 chance of picking the ace of hearts. The probability of ace of hearts would be one of 52. It would be 1 52nd. It's the event over the sample space. Or rolling a four on a number cube, a die. There's six sides, we have one out of six chance of rolling a four. The probability of getting a four is 1 6, the event rolling the four out of the sample space, the six sides. A fair number cube has six faces numbered one through six. So if it wasn't fair, maybe the cube would have ones through five and there's two fives or something like that. An experiment consists of rolling the number cube and the sample space has six possible outcomes of one, two, three, four, five, and six. The event rolling a four contains only one outcome, a four. The probability of four, the number of outcomes in the event, getting that four, would be over the number of possible outcomes. There's only one side that has a four out of six sides. We have a one-sixth chance of rolling a four. The outcomes of the event rolling an odd number, well, there's a one, three, and five on a die, so the probability of odd would be the number of outcomes in the event odd, there's three sides, over the number of possible outcomes, the sample space, there's six sides, we'd have a half chance of rolling an odd number. So it'd be like a 50% chance. The probability would be 0.5. If two events, A and B, have no outcomes in common, then the probability that A or B will happen is the probability of A plus the probability of B. So if we had a one sixth chance of rolling a four and a half chance of rolling an odd number, they don't have anything in common. We could add the one sixth plus one half, that's three sixths, we'd have four sixths, which simplifies to two thirds. That would be the probability of A plus the probability of B. The complement of an event is the set of outcomes that are not in the event. So if the probability of an event is P, then the probability of the complement of the event is 1 minus P. So if we have a 75% chance of getting something, the complement of the event would be 25. 
it would be 1 minus the 0.75. See, it would be 0.25. And the sum of the probability of an event and its complement will always equal 1. 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 equals 1. Here we've got a bag and there's 10 items. The experiment consists of picking one of the items at random. So we don't look, we stick our hand inside and we pick one item. Well, the sample space of the experiment has 10 possible outcomes. We could pick any one of these 10. There's A, B, C, D, E, F. There's a blue heart, a red heart, a silver heart, and a pink heart. So what's the probability of choosing a blue heart? We'll call that event A. Or choosing a vowel, we'll call that event B. Well, the event choosing a blue heart only has one outcome. There's only one blue heart. So the probability of A, event A, is the number of outcomes in event A. There's only one blue heart. Out of the number of possible outcomes, there's 10 items. We've got a one-tenth chance of choosing that blue heart. The event of choosing a vowel, that's our event B, has two outcomes. We have an A and an E. So the probability of event B would be the number of outcomes in event B. That's two vowels over the number of possible outcomes. There's 10 items. That's 2 tenths which simplifies to one-fifth. So the probability of choosing a blue heart or a vowel would be the probability of event A plus, plus the probability of event B. We'd have one-tenth plus two-tenths. That'll equal three-tenths to choose a blue heart or a vowel. We have a three out of ten chance. There's one blue heart, there's two vowels, there's ten items. So here we've got our little bag again over here with our four hearts in it. What's the probability of not choosing a letter? The event choosing a letter contains six outcomes, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And the probability is P of choosing a letter, probability of choosing a letter, there's six letters, there's ten items, that's six tenths, which simplifies to three fifths. So the event not choosing a letter is the complement of the event of choosing a letter. So the probability of not choosing a letter would be one minus that probability. It's one minus that three-fifths. So the complement is two-fifths. And the probability of the event plus the probability of the complement will equal one. This three-fifths of choosing a letter and the two-fifths of its complement added together is five-fifths. That's a one. We can use this sideways-looking L symbol for not. So we could say the probably of, probability of it not being event A, and we could write it like that for quick shorthand. We've got two more parts to this lesson. We've got 10.6b, where we're going to talk about geometric probability, and there's 10.6c, where we're going to use geometric probability to estimate pi. So I hope this helped you remember what you learned in 8th grade math and some of you learned in Algebra 1. And I hope it was helpful. I hope you're having a good day. And keep trying. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you for the rest of the lesson. Bye.